You're going to add 50,000. That takes you up to 118,816. And now a 14-day total of 1,061,550. Guy is amazing. You are amazing, Mr. James Holzhauer. He is now the second person ever to cross the million dollar mark yeah. on regular season play yeah. of Jeopardy. Have you figured out yet, Melissa, yes. his tactic? I mean, I think we figured it out, but I don't think we could do it, Robin. He is just unreal. This guy shows no sign of stopping a streak, just in case you're wondering, when is this going to end? Doesn't the season end, though? Well, I mean, yeah, but I guess he can go on. Like, do you carry over to the next season? It's just the way he's winning that has so many people going like, wait, <laughs> how do you do that? He's playing Jeopardy just like he plays a game of poker. Yes. So we asked a professional poker player to Ooh. let us in on the secret. How do you win big? Maria Ho is a professional poker player and a member of the Women in Poker Hall of Fame. To date, I've won over $3.3 million in tournament live tournament poker, and my single biggest win is $540,000. She says James Holzhauer plays Jeopardy the same way she plays poker. He's making a lot of really smart decisions on the fly, which you have to do in poker. But James's main strategy is to go big or go home. We will rock you a thousand. Mercury a thousand, Opry a thousand. He's starting from the bottom, which is the highest value. You see a lot of other contestants in the past go from the lowest value and then work their way down the category. But for him, he wants to start big. James, off you go. 20 teens, 1,000. The answer there he is the Daily Double. When he sees um, a Daily Double and he knows that he has a big bankroll, he's gonna go for it. And he might not feel that great about the category, but he's gonna trust his instincts and hope that he gets the answer right. But of course, James's strategy only works if he knows the answers. If he goes for a really high value question that he doesn't know the answer to, then he's gonna be in big trouble. I think you just can't underestimate the preparation that came in beforehand, not only with his strategy, but with educating himself on all these various topics. And just because he makes it look easy doesn't mean it is easy. This is really just a display of the many years that he's been a professional gambler, that he's been a sports better. You know, you have ice in your veins at that point and you're not afraid to go big or go home. We probably wouldn't be willing to risk that much. We would probably want to just go home, make a little bit of money, have a lot of fun, but I don't think we'd be able to do what he's doing.